Hi, this is Ilma Art Studio's photograph for today. That is a turbine um, in one of the towns uh, outside of Orangeville. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S dot com. Today, I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from 1 Peter 2, verse 24. It says, He personally carried our sins, so in his, I'm sorry, He personally carried our sins in His body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By His wounds, you are healed. Here's my poem. Live for what's right. Jesus Christ died on the cross so we can die to sin. He didn't sacrifice his life so we can let evil win. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross. He became flesh so we won't continue to be lost. By his wounds we are healed. By his death he made us see. When we live for what is right, we will have victory in this fight. Here's my essay. I remember as a small girl being taught to be good always. If I didn't do good, I will not go to heaven. I learned to perform and please others so I can be categorized good instead of bad. I didn't realize that it became one of the doors that I opened for the enemy to camp in my heart. I learned to rely on my abilities instead of trusting God. I depended on myself too much that I took pleasure in knowing that I am able to achieve what I am uh, aiming for. I was obsessed with making approval and performing, with seeking approval and performing. God revealed to me later on that He personally died on the cross so I can live for what is right. Here's a prayer. Lord, thank you for dying for my sins. Reflection. What makes it difficult in your life to follow Christ's example? Um, um, we are a fallen nature, so um, no matter how much, even in, in, in Romans, uh, Paul was saying, even when we want to do good, we end up doing the opposite of what we want to do. That's because our fallen nature. But the only reason why we will be able to do that is because of God's grace and mercy. And also because of the cross. When Christ died for us on the cross, he erased all the sins. So even if we commit a mistake, as soon or we commit a sin, as soon as we acknowledge and be convicted and and we confess the sin and we ask for forgiveness, that is covered by the blood of Christ. But if we continue doing the sin in itself, we are opening um, doors for the enemy to um, trample on us or to to manipulate us and, and put all kinds of lies in us. So be careful because um, you're called to live for what is right as soon as Christ died for us. Because that is the reason why he died for us, so we can have good lives and that we will be righteous and that we will choose the life that God wants for us and that's righteousness in his in his son thanks for watching and i hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com have a blessed day